So this is the lesson on how to post time slots uh, for your studies. Uh, once you have created a new study, you'll need to post hours that uh, students can check to see when studies are available. So if we click on My Studies, we can click on, on our test study from the prior video. Um, and we can go down to this section here. You're going to see a bunch of options, and we'll go through them very quickly. The first one is View Administer Time Slots. This is where you go to add or to observe what time slots you have available. This one is Time Slot Usage Summary. If we click on this, it lets you know how, <coughs> how many <coughs> spaces are available in our time slots, how many credits we've granted, how many excused and unexcused no-shows we've had, how many signups we have awaiting action, in other words, people in the future, what are our total signups, total credits granted, uh, and what, how much free space is available. So of the space that you have available for students, how much is actually being used versus how much is not. Um, this is uh, contact participants. We can contact all the participants via the Sonos system. We can email them. We can email anyone who was granted credit, anyone who was marked as a no-show, people who were marked as awaiting action, who are signed up in particular time slots. Um, we can send delays. So this is a, a way of contacting participants. Uh, we can change study information. That gets us back to the uh, this section. We can change uh, our study information. Um, you can see what the participant study view looks like. So anyway, we're going to click on View Administer Time Slots in order to add time slots. And uh, we're going to see the name of the study. It's This is a test study. And what we're going to click on is we're going to click on Add Multiple Time Slots. So let's say we want to put up uh, a study on uh, July 12th. Uh, we can go over here to, to the month, July 12th. We can also do this by pulling down the drop-down menus and clicking on the 12th. Let's say we want to start it at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You must remember to change it to p.m. Many people will make the mistake of leaving an a.m. when they meant a p.m. or a p.m. when they meant an a.m. Please be careful about this. Now, we have already identified that the study was 30 minutes long based on our original setup of the study. We said the study was 30 minutes long. Let's say I want to run from 1 to 5 o'clock. I want to run for 4 hours. At 30 minutes a pop, that means that there are going to be 8 time slots. I want no time in between studies. Uh, this is always going to be no. Always going to be having during uh, leaving the business hours as they are. Now we want a certain number of people per time slot. When we are in room 341, we can run up to 20 people at a time. While when we're in 236, we only have access to room B and E, we can only run four people at a time. So in the location section, we'll choose what room we're in. Let's choose 236, and then let's put down four people. If you only run into one, two people, you could run only two. Um, if you want to type in a separate uh, room here that isn't in the drop-down menu, you can write that down. So let's say you wanted to be in some other room, you can simply type it in there. And then we can go down here and choose the researcher. And we'll choose myself in this case, Michael Bernstein. And we'll hit Add. Now when we hit Add, we're going to see this screen. It's going to show us what all the time slots are. It says, on July 12th at 1 o'clock, we have four participants in 2.36 being run by me. And then the next time slot starts at 1.30. And the next at 2. And the next at 2.30. And we can go all the way down until the last time slot, which starts at 4.30 and ends at 5, because it's a 30-minute study. If we hit Add Selected Time Slots, this will now add our time slots. Now let's say we added different time slots, add multiple time slots, I want it to be on the 13th, I want it to be from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., so I only want two time slots, I want them to be in 341, 10 people at a time, and I want Brandon Nurse to be running these. If I hit add, I see 9 to 9.30, 9.30 to 10, if I hit add selected time slots, we'll now see that we have a new set of time slots, a different location, and a different researcher. This is how you add time slots in Sona.